Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, D757 Dark Man for D757 Gaming. We have a new RPG maker. I believe it's MZ. Get your toy. I believe it's MZ or MV game by Otter Art Studios 2021. So this seems like it's a new company, a new entity. Gaming developers is the pretty much the correct way to announce them. So, Animals of bear Bearing. What is this? What is this? Alright, this is a demo. The game is currently in development. Animals of Bearing is a 2D fantasy role-playing game for PC with cartoon anthropomorphic <laughs> anthropomorphic characters where our two heroes Felix the sea otter and Casita the Siberian husky must triumph and overcome the tyranny reigning over the Arctic themed kingdom known as Bahrain. All right, so this is this sounds very interesting. What's wrong? This sounds very interesting. I really like the plot of this. I really like the plot of this. So, we got new game, continue options. You know, where is my uh my chat? Where is my chat? Where is the chat? Bear with me a little bit, guys. I gotta pull up, cause I don't know. Okay. All right, so I can see what's going on and what's being said at all times. So, we have new game, continue options. Let's go to options. BGM at 70. Item sort is newest. Item sort is, is at newest. Then we got game pack configurations. Okay. Language, English. So, we have different languages. Like English and Dutch. Wow, that's, that's very cool. Like... How did they even make that happen? Did they translate it or is there a plugin that automatically translate for you? I would like to know because um I played some games. Well, I seen some games that I wanted to play, but um uh, I can't speak the language. Some some is in French or whatever. What's wrong? This is how it's supposed to go. All right. So without further ado, let's let's begin this bad boy. And like always, how's your daughter and family? We're about making elections here in Mexico. Oh man, it's that time. It's that time in place. For elections wow we are doing wonderful i really hope everything is good over there in your country and your side of the world and definitely you know blessings to each and every last one of your members of your family and also how is the rpg maker uh game is coming along like are you still planning are you still like getting stuff together you know trying to research the engine because Believe it or not, believe it or not, uh, it's not hard. Logos, your game logos, man, that takes a lot of preparing and preparation to do to even create a game with Unity. It's it's a whole it's a lo it's a whole lot of hard work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the new game. Let's do the new game. Let's go. This game uses auto saving. When you see the circle in the top left corner, the game is currently auto saving. The top most file slot contains your auto save. Okay. That is pretty much stuff that we already know. Look at the sprites. 
I really like the sprites, the custom, the custom assets. Uh, the tiles look RTP, but I love the font. I love the, uh, you got the picture next to the guard. It's nothing like over well done. Uh, all we know is something is on fire. Somebody's burning something. They going to town. I don't know. We just started probably two seconds ago. Already we got action. I love it. Commander Zinarovel, what is your next command? Zinarovel, whatever type of animal he is, man. I made a general research and a very is very doable. A lot easier than Unity. So I hope it be cool to be a cool project. And not only will you attract RPG Maker fans and whatnot, you will also attract those that um fans to your other game as well. Like you got two different versions. One is the RPG Maker, one is the Unity. Not only you're expanding your fan base, but you're also getting a lot of practice. And imagine how much games you could get done once you master this uh this system. Like you could probably like work as two times the speed or ten times the speed of working with a Unity project. All Siberian Huskies must not be spared. So they got to be otters. Roger that. Oh, wow. They're killing them all. Asida, what is happening? Our city is being destroyed. I must stop them. Use left joystick to move. So, lose left joystick. Okay, so who do we talk to? Help! Save me someone. Kill them all. Real last city of those Siberian Huskies. My kin, they are being slaughtered by the Royal Guard. And the local Wolverines are cheering them on. So we got... So we got Siberian Huskies as a race. Then we have... Then we have otters and wolverines i must do something or else it looks like we missed one killer your life ends down you filthy siberian husky all right we got combat look at this look at this you want what okay all right we got attack techniques we don't have no techniques magic earth strike a standard earth attack may lower defense items okay i really like the animate like the custom sprites looks pretty good the battlers let's do attack on the wolverine okay so they're wolverines the cedar attack 33 magic 25 agility 30 defense 30 magic defense 27 luck 27 it's a good that we can see our stats in its entirety without having to go to the stat menu. That's pretty. T that's pretty dope. Okay, let's see Earth Strike. All right, this is RTP animations. Nothing custom. I kind of wish you went a little bit further with the custom animations i mean they don't they don't look bad i mean but wow you went all the way out with the sprites animation definitely would have been a plus like customizing them from the ground up that would definitely have been a plus i'll be working on that my weekend hope it could be available even on html in our own server the most difficult part would be make character tiles with it it's Steve a Diablo. I'll be checking the channel you recommended me. Yeah, definitely. He, uh, Oath Game has released another video yesterday. About, you know, and definitely you need to check his channel out. Because that's the guy, like, that I know so far, um, uh, that can help you with, um, pulling something off on this engine. 
throw her in a hellhole prison tower with our most recent prisoner. Sir, you want sausages? Why not let me finish her here and now? Don't question me. I want to have I want to have a more gruesome death for this little stunt she just pulled. And you, you filthy Siberian husky, I am Commander Zena Rovell of the Royal Guard under Prince Belichin. Your days are numbered, and I will take a great pride in torturing you later. And then I will rip that husky fang right off your dead body. Ha 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 ha. All right, so this is what we have here. Uh, hey, are you okay? I see you finally woke up. Where am I? At this hellhole prison tower? Correct, you have been captured and we're out cold for a couple of days. A couple of days? I made prototype with action battle system type combat where you don't have to change scene to combat in turns and also check the HTML function and it works. Yo Ace of Aces is in the house what's going on with you thank you for stopping by. Where is Zena Rovell? I must avenge my kin. It's a good thing that you have stopped by because it's a three-day weekend, Memorial Day weekend. That means my wife is home. I get to do more gaming. I get to go over y'all guys' games. Definitely, we're going to be finishing Immortal Sin, playing that some more this weekend. We're going to do some more um, uh, Amnoron's Legacy. We're going to pick up some some uh, law mage academy man we're gonna play a lot of games this weekend that's why i love the weekends i get so much done you resisted them got out number yes how do you know about that are you one of them if i was i wouldn't be locked in here in this prison cell now would i here drink this potion you would need the energy if we are to escape Obtain one potion. Loving this. Go RPG. As someone who has a dog that is half Siberian Husky, this story makes me sad already. Man, it is a sad game because it was killing them. It, it was killing them so early. Use to open the menu. Use to close the menu. All right, I really like, I really like that you have designed this to work with a controller. Uh, you rarely would see this in an RPG game where the uh, the direction, you know, you know, is made for the controller instead of the keyboard. You want a banana? All right, come on. All right, so our main character name is Casita, level two. SP, I do not know. Uh, total experience. Okay, we got spirit bonus system. One times, I do not know what that is. Well, a spirit bonus one time, so we get in normal the experience, but I don't know how you level that up. Do you level that up? 
you uh build that up or you get items for it okay this menu looks different than what we normally see in rpg maker uh i believe this is m mv yeah this is mv i like it even though it seems like it's all over the place i like it though because it's different it's something that we don't see uh every day like normally it's the other way around like items then you got your uh your weapons armors then your key items all horizontally but we got everything vertical like each we got a slot for each thing that's in the item so save we can save anytime boom let's go okay time of day it is 405 a.m so not sure the game got an internal clock options there's there's no way to equip things. Maybe you equip things here. I don't know. Drink the potion, please. Okay, so we got to drink the potion. All right. So, you mentioned escaping. How are we doing that? Watch and learn. I be programming while watching your streams. Appreciate you take a prendo. As always, there. Nothing like using my good old claws to pick the lock. Casita. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Come. Best we get going before somebody notices. Alright, let's go. This way. I don't think this is the way I should go right now. Why didn't you why didn't you just do that earlier? No guards are guarding our cells currently. Nobody is even sitting at the table here on shift. Considering the kind of criminals who end up in this tower. You would think the security would be tighter. I'm no criminal. You did kill another citizen of the kingdom. Let alone someone of the royal guard. My kin are dead. My home is in ruin. All because of them. I am not a criminal. Keep your voice down. We are trying to escape after all. All right. I really like. I really like the plot and the story where it's going like automatically. We are introduced with the the current um rising plot of the of the story. Like it's like if it, it feels like it's like. A genocide that is happening Like they're killing all Siberian Huskies for some reason But at the same time What did the Siberian Huskies do So automatically we are Presented with a problem And a question at the same Time which definitely Uh want, Make your player Want to play more and more and more Of this game to definitely figure out What's going on with the story Huh My gear, nice to have it back. This probably belongs to you. Tame Traveler Sword. I really like the um the icons. This is definitely not RTP. This is uh nice looking icons. I really like it. Never seen this icon before. It looks like you probably have made it. If you did, definitely, definitely keep up the great work. We should worry about escaping first. All right. So items, let's look at our weapons. So this is not how we equip. This is, okay, so they automatically equip that. I'm really curious about this item menu. This menu. Let's go. So he did put on a helmet. Some armor. I don't think there's nothing we can search. Maybe this isn't a game where you react to the environment. There are two guards patrolling right over there. Doesn't look like we'll be sneaking past them either. 
Feels like we'll be doing things the hard way. It's three. One, two, three. You have mastered the dual attack technique. Have you mastered the dual attack technique yet? Dual attack? No, never heard of it. We are going to take on these guards. You should learn it as first. You should learn it first as it will make fights go a lot smoother. Okay, so how do I learn this dual attack? Similar to how you manage your items. You can assess your skills in the same way. You should be able to learn new skills there by spending skill points or SP for short. I think I get it. Each time you progress in your newfound strength, or as others call it, a level up, you will earn 1 SP each time. For now, just focus on mastering the dual attack technique. Alright, so we go to the skills, technique, learn. Okay. Okay, so we get to learn all these abilities. Look at all these abilities. Wonderful, wonderful. They don't seem to be restricted by skill learning or levels. You just need the skill points to learn it. Kind of like that. Customization all around the board. A+. Plus. See. I kind of like the idea that you we know what we can see. But sometimes... I would not show all these abilities at once. I really think some should be level based. Like it makes sense where, you know, some of these skills will appear at a certain level. Let's say level five, you know, like three more skills pop up, you know, because it seems like once you have all your stuff like this, we know what to expect. We know what to expect. Only thing we're not surprised by is the animation. What happened? What happened? What happened? Use your words. What happened? It hurt. Why it hurt? How you hurt your finger? Okay. Mm. better yeah like I was saying like what the world is huh we are out of banana we don't have no more yeah we gotta go buy some more yeah like I was saying like you don't want to like show all your abilities that you could that you could learn throughout the whole game have some pop up at a you know certain level I see you have mastered the dual attack. Much easier than I thought it would be. You won't be able to use it right away. You need to build up some adrenaline or commonly known as TP points or TP for a shirt. I would have just called it adrenaline point. AP. AP points. Action points. Adrenaline points. You know, don't say adrenaline then call it tech points. You feel what I'm saying? Like... I would have just went with AP because it's more unique that way. Uh, you know, a lot of people know about the TP. You know, so TP is really uh, common, but AP would definitely uh, be more personal, you know, for your game. This could be done by attacking normally or using the item such as potion. Once you have enough TP, you can decide to unleash your dual attack if you choose so. So, seasoned RPG players definitely know about this system. New players may not. So, it's, all, it's always good to explain what is what. Question mark, join the party. So, we do not know his name. Casita. I really, so, he it looks like he got two daggers. Traveler daggers, travel hood, travel letter top, traveler chaps. He got two skills, venom slice. Requires a sword, spear, staff, dagger, gauntlets. He got magic, fire. May induce rage. 
and she got earth attacks but he cannot learn anything so maybe he's not a permanent player halt you two we got two runaway prisoners here notify the boss no turning back now we fell here and our execution will happen immediately fast all right definitely love the menu get to see every stats in the game all right let's okay we can't do a dual attack yet so let's do fire strike hey fire just a fire animation i would like i would like it for you know them to do an actual fire strike instead of just a fire venom slice can't do that yet All right, let's do dual strike. So dual strike is just another word for double attack. That's all it is. Dual strike is double attack. I commend you by not naming it double attack. Dual strike, I could, I could, I could go with it. Thirty experience plus one skill point for leveling up. Let's keep moving forward. Time will slowly heal those open wounds, but a potion could be handy in a pinch. Okay, so 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we're healing 1 HP per second. 1 HP per second. That's how we heal. I like that mechanic, but it could easily... Potion is pretty much going to be strictly for battle. If we heal like this. I don't mind sitting around and just getting healed. What is wrong? What's wrong? You runaways have nowhere to run now. Earth strike. Fire strike. Neo Soul Gamer. Shout out to the dev for trying something different with the UI. But having all the parameters showing isn't a smart move. In my opinion, it takes up way too much screen real estate. Kind of thinking about it, it do. What if we get a third person? So pretty much, are we just playing with two people? Level up. So 11. So we could just stay here and heal up without moving. If they lower the windows, the battle log won't take up as much of the screen. You can see the action sequence better. Is that a sparking light over there? Should I check it out? 
two potions and two resurrect. Let's go. So basically, yeah, standing still. I don't mind waiting the seconds that we need to uh to heal. The exit is rightly is right there, but I have a bad feeling we aren't just going to simply walk out. Oh man, I, I should have saved it. Be prepared for what comes next. We can handle it. Don't start quake quaking in your boots now. All right, so let's check up our skills. Okay, we can't learn anything. We only got two SP points. Thunder strike. We can learn that. A standard thunder attack hits all opponents. Ah oh, man. Oh man, this is this is definitely going to come in handy. Should we introduce a a, uh, a AOE attack early in the game? Hmm. These cost two, but this costs two as well. But it hits all opponents. Maybe this should cost a little bit more, like four. Because the AOE and it takes more magic points. So I don't understand why they cost the same. But. Okay we got try attack. That's three. Hit three times. So we, we, we're we going to learn thunder strike. Because it hits everybody. It hits everybody. And their mama and their daddy. You made it this far as runaways, but unfortunately, I cannot let you proceed further. Hellhole Prison Tower Boss. <laughs> Casita. Hey, simple enough. We will just take you out like we did the other guards. You misunderstand. I am the boss of this tower. I am not weak like my underlings. You both stand no chance. And I forgot to save, but I'm glad that all those saves. I'll offer you two choices. You can surrender now and be executed tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, we can do it the hard way and you have a pain for death right here and right now. Either way, you're going to kill us. I mean, come on now. I'm going with the choice where you are at the sharper end of my blade. So be it. I will make your death a quick one. Okay. Thunder strike. You know, that's a waste. Cause only one of them. Let's let's hit him with Earth Strike. Lower his defense. Is there an indicator? But it says May. So it's not guaranteed. But I see where um, Neo Soul Gamer is is explaining about. Hold on, what the world happened? How did I die like that? It's like I just died out of nowhere. Okay, he's taking 22 damage. Brace yourself, he's up to something. All right, so let's let's heal him. 50. Brace yourself, meaning guard, ground pound. Okay, we should have did. Let's do that. And let's heal. Earth strike. Alright. This is the last resurrection that I have. I don't have no more after this, okay? Brace yourself, he's up to something. So, okay, brace yourself. Can you block? That's what brace yourself means, like blocking. But we can't. Let's cancel. Yeah, we can't block or nothing, so why should we... Why should we brace ourselves? Okay, he's poison. Okay. 
So maybe a guard function will be nice. But he's he's dead. Level up. Plus one stats. So we got resurrection and potions. Tell me where is Zini Rovell? Bleh. I'm chocked up village. He was heading there. Gas. He has now departed this world. We have escaped Hellhole Prison Tower successfully. Hey, I have questions for you. Who are you? How did you know about my capture? And why did you get captured? I suppose I owe you some explanation for helping me escape. My name is Hyrak. I'm not from this kingdom. In fact, I'm a foreign spy from afar. I am looking to learn about Prince Belachim. Berin. His tyranny is a potential threat in my country. So Berin should definitely be uh, capital, you know, uh, highlighted as well. Because that's his name. And also that's part of the, you know, the name in the game. As for your capture and what happened here in Hellhole City. Word gets around fast with these guards. As a spy, I have learned to eavesdrop quite well. Anyways, you haven't told me your name, either, Miss Casita. Pleasure to be your acquaintance, Casita. I think you and I can help one another. The sprites got me going. Like, they look so good. Wait. My home is gone. I'm going to head to Kamach village and hopefully find Zinarova there. I will make him pay. I would be happy to join you, but unfortunately, I need to gather more info of Prince Belichem. I will start here in Hellho City and see what I can learn. Then for now, we will split ways. Best of luck to you, Hyrag. Likewise. All right, I knew that Hyrag would probably been a, you know, um, a guest character because we couldn't learn new skills with him. It is quite quiet this morning, isn't it? I really don't want to sit here all day, though. Maybe I should go hunt. Maybe I should go hunt at Nifup Mountain. Yeah, that's right. Perhaps I could bring home some horn puffin for dinner tonight. Mom would be happy. Although, she has been gone a while now. Wonder where she went. Alright, so auto save. His name is Philic. I guess this is the order for just reading the um, the description in the game. He has a traveler staff. A staff used commonly by travelers does blunt damage. Accuracy 97. Skills, Water Strike. Okay, we have 4 SP. So we can learn some stuff. Off the back. Cheap hit, good sucker punch, Fire Strike. He got 32 magic points. Oh man, I really like the... I like the AoE. So we definitely... Hmm. Let me learn. Let me learn the Thunder Strike with him as well. I can let the game. I can let the map slide a little bit because you know they are animals, and even though it's not the really the best map skills in the world it definitely goes good with the game like the setting mom what happened here she just fell suddenly her breathing is extremely off is she going to be okay let me examine her she is showing symptoms of an illness but not any kind i have ever seen Oh, she threw up. 
It's best we get her in the bed immediately. Someone should go ask the village chief for advice on this. I will go. She can be placed on her bed inside my house. Okay, we will carry her inside in the meantime. A pile of vomit your mom threw up. I don't think she's able to talk to me right now. Will you carry your mother and we will carry your mother inside. Go to the village chief. Alright, so we got 240 gold. We offer various goods, but we also buy anything you don't need as well. Potions cost 10, we got 6. Resurrects 50. All around shield 100. Okay, we got a crafting system. Hey, what's going on? Got Miss Angie and I. What's going on with ya? Alright, I don't know how we supposed to get this. But I guess this is the chief house, so we definitely gonna be paying him a visit. Behind this curtains where someone goes through their business. Hello, Violet. What brings you here today? My mother. She collapsed and is suddenly very sick. One of the villagers believes she has some sort of unknown illness. Do you, almighty village chief, have any advice on this? An unknown illness. I myself too unsure of this one. But perhaps the oracle atop Nifup Mountain has some insight. Oh, I was planning to do some hunting there originally, although I have never spoken to the oracle before. Heed my warning, Philet. The oracle is very knowledgeable, but do not take her advice too literally. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time and knowledge. All right. So, check up on this mom before he leaves. It'd be good to add some, um, some, uh, some environment. Like these bookshelves. You could talk to this. Maybe it could be like wise, you know, books, uh, a different nature or whatever. It just feels a little bit out of place that you can't like some stuff you can't talk to not saying everything but some items so i guess we can get this here okay we got one potion one ether with that this is a bar so definitely go check up on mom mom is in the house hello again your mother's in the bed safe and sound did you learn anything from the village chief he suggests I go seek the advice of the Oracle atop Nifup Mountain. Oh, well, I see you have traveler staff on you. Do you plan to be using magic to deal with the feral horn puffins? I do prefer to hunt with magic. Remember, magic can be effective, but keep an eye on your mana points, or better yet, MP. As it depletes from using magic, you don't want to run out. Okay, I really like the use of mana points instead of saying magic points. Like any other rpg but definitely uh consider changing tp to ap but i could always whack the horn puffins with my travel staff if i need to besides like any wounds i get my ability to use magic also restores over time speak of the time do not procrastinate on traveling to nip up mountain the feral horn puffin have some kind of weird dark aura at night which makes them a lot stronger Nights fall, it would be wise to get some shut eye and resume your travels in the morning. You have a nice, comfortable bed over there, anyways. Take this time dial to keep track of time. Okay, I knew that we had some eternal time clock in this game. I really like it, I really like this uh mechanic. So, at nighttime, the enemies are more feral, they're probably more powerful. So, whenever they become nighttime, we need to make sure we stay daytime always. Definitely, definitely different uh, strategic in this game than some RPG Maker games has to offer. So great job! So it's 1:28 p.m. I'm running at. Uh, I think this game is probably running at 60 frames per second. So it's a minute a second in in real time. Okay, the bar, you know, I'm hearing ice magic on these horn puffin and nifflet mounts really effective. Darn it. And I already learned, I already learned that thunder spell. 
I learned the thunder spell. So that's not gonna do me any uh any good. So we have a quest. Bring back 10 puffin beaks. Okay, seems the sun starts to set five hours later from noon to last three hours. Likewise, the sun seems to start rising five hours later. I really don't understand that. But we'll do alright. We'll do alright. Okay, so we got Random encounters. No, well, not random encounters, but on screen enemies. Oh, look at the puffin. <laughs> Go ahead. Alright, so the puffins, they taking off a decent amount of MP. I mean, magic uh, hit points. A lot of time, a lot of this music is from the art RPG Maker SP soundtrack, and I lost it. Well, I love it. Yeah, it sounds pretty nice. Me personally, I haven't heard most of this stuff, but I really like it though. I really like, I really like how this sounds. I would say the combat is really balanced. You know, two to three hits is the ideal. It's the ideal uh, attack. You know, to kill enemies, especially starting off. But this is pretty cool, though. I say it's the best RPG Maker soundtrack of all of them. Agreed. All right, so level up. So I can see the penalty of us standing still, their heal, versus uh, trying to avoid enemies at nighttime. So definitely this mechanic uh, kind of balance, balance the, uh, keep players from trying to uh, abuse the system. Like me. Kind of don't feel like we're on level 6 though. Unless there's like a scale. A scale mechanic where the enemies level up with us as well. Alright let's regular attack. Oh man. And I'm also noticing whenever we get hit, oh my gosh, whenever we get hit, we, um, we don't even see the number pop up. We just see it like come as a text. I definitely got to get used to that. I think I need to buy me a, uh, a shield, that shield. Because I am losing a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage. Ah. I died. I died from negligence. I didn't heal myself when I was supposed to heal. Alright, so... We got two pelicans right there. Puffins. Okay, find a lit, sir. Let's. Okay, the enemies respawn. I guess that's a good thing. Because I need to get 10 beaks. 10 puffin beaks. Wow, 12. My goodness.
But I do like it. You die. You get to retry the battle instead of having to uh, start all over. Sixteen. Trying to make sure I heal up all the way. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 20. Did you just kill a sea firing bird with a water spell? This guy gotta. This sure is a lot of copper here in Nifup Mountain. Okay. But it's a it's a poison standard water attack made. So maybe this enemy should have a high resistance to water. Or maybe absorb it. If puffins are, you know, water. I don't really know much about puffins, but if they like the water and swim water, maybe water shouldn't hurt them. I think I have 10. Wind strike. Oh my goodness, that jank is strong. Alright, so how many puffin' beaks? Hold on, hold on. That's it? That's all the puffin' beaks I got? You got to be lying. So we gotta get in how many fights? Who was it? Wow. That's not good. That kind that that kinda uh That's a bummer right there. Alright, so let's buy this shield. Plus three everywhere Equip How come, how come we didn't have the equip option with um Casita That's weird Maybe it appear after at a certain time Yeah, they said it's from RPG Maker XP soundtracks. That's what Neo Soul Gamer has uh, stated. Okay, so the puffin, the puffin beak drop is random uh i think i fought 20 puffins i fought 20 puffins and the the drop rate gotta be one out of ten it has to be i think that's a little bit too low like we shouldn't it shouldn't take that it shouldn't take us this long to get uh puffin beaks after all the puffins we fought. We only fought. We fought all these puffins. Okay, now we got two. Out of so many fights. That's too much. Oh, I'm out of the hill. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Retry. Okay, you retry. You don't get your health back. I can respect that. All right, so let's do water strike since they're pretty much that takes a lot. Nine, fourteen. Wind strike got hit again with a wind strike. 
They love doing win strikes. Bro, my G said, R RPG Maker SP soundtrack is probably one of my favorite RPG Maker OST too. Come on! Okay, now we got another puffin' beat. So they're starting to come in now. They're starting to come in. Maybe it took me saying something to actually get the uh get better luck of getting these things. All right, so I I really like the mechanic where you uh you do heal for doing nothing, but it could be uh, time staking, just waiting. So I take that back. I take that back, saying I'm gonna abuse it, but. Nah, it's not even worth it. Especially the time is getting is getting darker and darker and darker. All right, so let's. They said they weak against magic. I mean ice. So let's. Okay, we got water burst. An excellent water attack may lower agility. This one said it's standard. So okay, this is better. Enemy scan. Expose the opponent weaknesses and resistance. It's not bad. So we're going to learn Ice Strike. Because the Puffins are weak against that. But we can learn Enemy Scan too. Cheap hit. Dual attack. You know we got to stay with that dual attack. Stand ready to parry. If hit by a physical non-projectile attack. Deflect some damage back. And take partial damage. Requires a great sword. Which we do not have. So we're going to do. Uh, learn dual attack. You always got to learn dual attack. In the RPG. RPG maker. You got to learn dual attack. Okay. It's night time at 5 o'clock. All right, so let's do Ice Strike. That should be a one-shot kill. Nope. But this hit invulnerability, so I guess that's the weakness. Puffin' Beak. So we are getting more Puffin' Beaks. The maps ain't really the best, but... At the same time, we got custom, at, you know, we got custom sprites, custom battlers. Can't be, uh, can't deduct so many points on that. The cure you seat lies within the fang of a husky. The fang of a husky? What does that mean? How would that help my mother's illness? The oracle continues to meditate and ignores you. Hmm. Maybe the fang is the key ingredient in some kind of special medicine. I should ask the village chief. Alright, so we gotta travel back. Glad it's not a far travel, but don't really um, get used to that. Like, where we gotta travel back, do a lot of backtracking and stuff like that. Some players don't like it. I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I travel back sometimes, but if it's a long dungeon, oh man, you're going to hear me out. You're going to hear me out if I got to travel all the way. But it's not a bad game though. So far, I mean, it's it's the story. I see where the story is leading to. You know, even uh, the boss said that they're gonna take our thing as well. Before you know, we got in the boss fight when we had the husky and the and the cheetah, whatever animal <laughs> that was. The leopard, snow, snow, the snow lion, whatever it is. So we can have an idea about what's going on. Like we could predict it. So it's very interesting. The combat. The combat is okay. 
It just is is very repetitive right now. Dang, really? You know I should have healed. I should have healed. You gonna kill me again? It's not hard. It just I'm being neglecting of healing my character whenever they need to be healed. Oh, now I notice my plug-in in action. You created a plug-in and what is what does your plug-in do exactly? The nerve mansion came out of the woodworks. Maybe it's the It's the item, you know, we can see the attack and all that stuff. Maybe that's his plug-in. Or... Okay, the HP... The HP bar color changer. Okay, we're level nine. We should be one shotting these enemies. Especially with their weakness. Oh, I see. So his HP is green, but the HP begins to go down, becomes red. That's pretty cool. I thought that was like uh well, I've seen it in other games, but wow, didn't know that you created that. By default, the gauges stay the same color regardless of their value. Ace made a plugin that allows it to change it as it lowers. And that's pretty much one of, probably one of the greatest plugins ever in RPG Maker history. I like that. Hello, Philip. Do you learn anything from the Oracle? The Oracle just said the cure you seek lies within the fang of a husky and the resume meditation. Could be a greeting in some kind of special medicine, is my guess. Perhaps. You may want to seek an expert on this. I believe there is an apothecary shop in Navarin City. Leave Redo Village? I have never done that. You won't have to travel too far. Navarin City is just north of here past Kamchata Village. There are a wide variety of races and species outside of Redo Village, so you may want to experiment with different weapons and magic as what best will vary. Here, you can have this. Traveler Spear! In the same way you assess your item, you should be able to swap weapons or equipment you may come across. Thank you, I promise. I will be more successful. I will be gone for a while, and I should probably tell mom and the villagers looking over her. No need. I will let them all know for you. Oh, one last thing, Felix. Remember, do not take the Oracle advice too literally. All right. So, so maybe we don't need a physical uh, thing, but maybe something about Casita is what we need. Her healing properties. Maybe she's a mage, could heal. I don't know. So, do I want to trade attack for defense and magic defense? Probably not. Not now. Not now. But let's do it. Let's do it to see what it do. I really like how you change the spear, like the weapon. That's pretty dope. 
That's pretty dope. Okay, but we can't... Okay, I see, but we can't carry a shield. That's why. So I guess we keep what we have now. Okay, how do we get out of here? First of all. Okay, I think I think I know what to do. Okay, we need two more puffin beaks. Let's get these puffin beaks real quick. And uh get this get this prize. Cause I don't wanna like go too far and not get it. It could be money that we need could be an item but i just don't like the drop rate the drop rate is you know it's, it's really low yeah the sprite chain is pretty dope too i i can respect rpg games where your equipment change like whenever you change your equipment you know your character uh sprite changes as well like to show the helmet and to show the weapon and stuff like that I seen it I seen it done like your but it was with class changes and stuff but like each each item makes your character look different that's like that probably is a whole lot of work to do and he's about to kill me <laughs> he's about to kill me because I forgot to heal let me heal You know what? We got dual strike. So definitely need to uh, make that useful. See, the drop is horrible. Oh, okay, I see. Um, you got the gender as well. That's dope. Little small, little small uh, detail. You know what, guys? This game would definitely be perfect on an Android device or iPhone device, too. Like, it definitely feels like it belongs there. I know, right? <laughs> I know, them, hey, them level two birds. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, bro, like, we on level nine. And we should be one-shotting them, like, no problem. No problem. Ice strike, boom, they're gone, dead. They either got a little bit too much HP and their attack is definitely up. This last one will be a pain to find. And I think he might kill me because they be taking off 13 and stuff. Please give us up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this game definitely belongs. I mean, it belongs either on the Switch or the uh, Android. Like, it's perfect. And it don't seem to take a lot of resources as well. I think this was like only... Uh, I would say a hundred megabytes. That's it. Okay, now we one shot in enemies. Yes, we got the 10 puffin beak. About time. 
Maybe increase the drop rate for the puffin beat. Probably five out of ten. You know, 50 50, 50 50 chance getting one. Instead of like probably three tenths of your chance. Oh my, yes, you have them. We'd be willing to give them up. Yes. Please take this. Bracelet of ice. What does that do? Adds ice damage to your weapons. Hold on. Let me see. Do that. Okay, that don't actually get equipped. If that was the if that was the case, man, that'd be so freaking dope. All right, guys. So we could attack with ice attack now. Well, our weapon has ice element. We should definitely be one shotting these enemies. But we don't. Yeah, I love the custom icons too. Definitely. I definitely uh, gave that some props in the beginning. Then he asked them. He asked the name of the item with the icon in the description as well. Okay, so we can't... I don't know, like, where to go. He said we don't have to go home and talk to nobody. They already know, but... Let's see. Did we cross over there? Who is this girl? Okay, Ether. I guess Ether is for store magic points. How many we got? We only got one. So let's buy some more. I'm glad she reminded us. I guess 10. 10 is good. Okay, we got in over here. We got item shop. Camcha village. This is where the girl was going to be at. We offer various goods, but we will also buy anything you don't need as well. Traveler's bandana. Plus two agility. Traveler's leather top. Plus uh, two defense, magic defense. Wood. Crafting. Use. Okay. Get a rundown first from the shop in Navarin City. Rest at the end, you get stronger from battles more quickly. The effects seem to wear off at midnight, though. Okay, so we got some new mechanic. Let's go to the end and sleep. 50 coins. OMG. No. Excuse me. You are a Siberian Husky, right? Casita. Huh. I'm looking for a Husky Fane. Do you know where I can find one? What did you say? Oh. Well, I need a Husky Fane. So I can. So you are one of them as well. I'm not sure I understand, but. You will pay for my dead kin. Whoa. Alright, let's hit with regular attack we don't have to do ice strike i don't think so let's do it oh my gosh stop your fighting you are both civilians neither you are feral creatures attacking one another is forbidden well she attacked me first you are one of those royal guard soldiers from after our fangs. Huh? I'm no royal guard. I just need a husky fane to help my mother. She is very sick. What? How does a husky fane do that? It seems like there's a misunderstanding here between you two. Maybe we could work this out over some food and drinks. My treat. Sure. 
I don't mean to do anything wrong. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I promise. All right. Just don't try anything funny. Hey, it would be fine. The food here in Kamchala Village is wonderful. Besides, I'm starving. So let's go already. A little while later. I see. I'm not a fan of what the Oracle said. But I understand why you are seeking a Husky fame. I apologize for attacking you earlier. And I understand why you got upset what Commander Zinarovel did to your kin. I also apologize for not being more considerate of others when asking for things. You both have potentially quite some goals ahead of you. La, La Kayla. Say, I know. Why don't you two team up? You can help each other. Come to think of it, I did see a wolf rain head towards Kamchala Forest, but I'm sure it was the Zinarovel guy. All right, I will accompany you to Navarin City. If you come with me to Kamchala Forest first, I hope Zena Rovell is there. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Kamchala Forest is just west of here. Can't miss it. Also, I don't think I caught your names. I'm Philek Casida. Nice to meet you both. I'm La Kayla. I wish you both a luck. Hope we all meet again sometimes. Violet, thank you and thank you for the meal. Yes. Okay, I think uh, the names are blue. They're they're male and it's purple. They're female. Also, Phil Reese, Phil, feed the rest in the end here in Kamchala Village. Being well rested at end scene to help with combat growth. Well rested. Okay, so we got a well rested uh, mechanic where you pretty much do more damage in battle. Okay, thanks again, LaKayla. We better get going. Yeah, see you around, LaKayla. Safe travels. Nice little mechanic. That's it? This is it. Kyle Fitzgibbons. General programming. Kyle Fitzgibbons. Four engines. The, the Jika Kyle Fitzgibbons. Combat system. Kyle Fitzgibbons. Kyle Fitzgibbons. Here are some API scripts. Gal. Ivana. Russell. Some random dude. Terats. Tyrus Wu, Yan Fly, Artwork, Chalk Dust, Dejika, Kyle Fitzgibbons, Indra, Kokora Reflection, Maxi Cons, Dejika, Music, Dejika, Sound Effects, Sound J, Quality Assurance, Nick, Damiano, Kyle Fitzgibbons, Jay Haynes, Gary Hulk, Localization Nick Damiano Kyle Fitzgibbons Special thanks DeAsia Clary Nick Damiano Jay Hayes Gary Hulk And finally You Thank you for playing Otter Art Studios 2021 Powered by RPG Maker MV Terrace Lighting System released under MIT license. Hey. Ah, boy. Maybe this isn't the end of the demo, but it is. It is. All right. Animals of Bering. Animals of Bering. So, Berin is the name of the kingdom. We have a prince that has that same name. So, what, what do I think about this game? And can it be commercialized? And can it be, you know, is it fun? Like, that's the thing. That's the thing that we got to 
figure out is these games fun the way they're supposed to be oh man i like it like i like the characters i like the custom you know the the uh the battlers um i see where you're coming from like story-wise everything's starting to add up like fit like a puzzle but definitely need some work definitely need some work and where does it need work at the maps isn't the best maps ever but given with the style of the game like your uh the battlers the um their animals you know the the sprites i think the map is appropriate for the game you know i'm not sure this is your first uh dealing with rpg maker mv and don't get me wrong a lot of people do not have map skills like they're not gifted to create beautiful maps and maybe you know you don't have that ability to make beautiful maps as of now because of the resources and you know the tiles that you may be using so maybe the map isn't your your um uh, your strong point but your and your 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 battlers are your battlers are they look very unique you know they represent the animals uh do a, do the husky look like a husky not really but the otter does look like the otter we don't know what the wolverines really look like or oh, were we fighting wolverines i think we were i guess they look they look appropriate for what it is you know anthropomorphic if i'm saying it correctly you know walking animals and talking animals so and it, the character she had booze and stuff you know like a human so i mean can't really judge your uh your your sprites how they look because not everybody create custom sprites looking like that so that's an a plus in my book battle system oh man the battle system it's okay it's not it's not fun i mean it's fun but it's not great it's not like oh man this is awesome it just feel it just feel basic you know you got your your regular tags you got your spells then you got your default animations and stuff like that then you got your enemies um i mean it just it just combat i, I don't think combat is the primary focus of this game maybe it's just um your story you just want to get your story out and you want to get you know like your characters your design the story just out but the combat is there just to keep us busy but the combat could definitely be improved the um seeing the 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 stats during the combat i don't think that's necessary i mean it's a nice change to it but it doesn't really do anything it doesn't really do anything for the for the player i think it's just there just to be there like we should already know what our stats are like because we do go to the uh do equipment menu and stuff like that like we do equip our weapons and learn our spells so we should have an idea of what our stats looks like and especially if the game is just going to be them two together because there's no room to add a third a third character so i mean showing the the stats like the attack magic i don't really think that's necessary because we don't even see the enemy stats as well so we can't really compare apples and oranges unless we do scan and see it like that but still you know that's only for a few seconds then it's oblivious so uh i think we could do a little bit more add a little bit more if we don't have that you know to the menu may probably put their portraits there or whatnot i don't know but i really think that's probably 
a waste of space. Just like uh, I think it was Neo Soul Gamer that says that you know it's not really uh necessary. Okay, um, the skills. I don't think you should show all your skills at once. Maybe show like the first five until like you get to a certain level or learn certain skills and those skills will uh open up like you shouldn't yeah those skills will open up to the greater skills and stuff like that instead of showing your whole arsenal of stuff that we can learn or whatnot but it do it do seem like based on the uh the stuff that like the animation we have seen now everything it's going to be a default animation. No type of action sequencing to the combat system or whatnot. You know, we just going to have pretty much the RTP uh, animation style. You know, like you do the spell, you get the animation. I think that's all we're going to get throughout the whole game. Um, I mean, other than that, I mean, I guess that combat system is fine, but... You know, your sprites and the way your battles look, I think it kind of balanced everything out for for the better. Uh, for the demo, Puffins, we should have a more variety of enemies instead of fighting Puffins, a bird, you know, and the mechanics of the bird, like level two whooping our tails killing us in two hits two to three hits but it takes the same amount of hits to kill them as well i think it's the balance of the leveling like we level up we're not leveling up like as we should uh or the enemies are they just have high stats and high hp you know, we should be, especially at level 10, we should be killing them in one hit. Easily. Easily one hit. You know, even with the weakness, one hit. But sometimes we wasn't killing them in one hit with the weakness. So they either got a lot of magic point, I mean, not magic point, HP. Or, you know, they're not really balanced the way they're supposed to be balanced. Like with the weakness. Okay. Stories pre seem to pre be pretty solid. Um I think this is a decent amount of time for a demo because think about it. Demo shouldn't be long. You know, it's enough to captivate the player. Like you want to captivate the player in so, you know, in so little time. It shouldn't take two hours to captivate your player, right? I'm not trying to bash heads for those that who have very long demos. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes if you have a longer story or you got a lot of dialogue in your story, you may need a, uh, you know, a appropriate uh, demo link. But at the same time, at the same time, um you wanna you don't want to give too much or you don't want to give too little like i shouldn't i shouldn't a, a demo should not be four hours you feel what i'm saying a demo shouldn't be four hours i really think a demo shouldn't even be two hours a demo should be at least 30 minutes to an hour right if you feel like your demo is too long you just need to add certain parts to your demo where you get a hint of the story you get a taste of the combat and you get the conflict uh, you know the conflict uh you get to the conflict then the M then the demo stops you feel what i'm saying you get the player man dang man why this had to end like this you feel what i'm saying why did this have to end like this don't get me wrong like i played demos professional like triple a title demos that were long but at the same time you don't want to like you know go so much like four hours or 
the game is almost over. You, I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta uh, have it like you just want to introduce the major points, like the major points in your game. You just want to introduce that. You feel what I'm saying? The beginning of the story, the combat. And, you know, the rising climax where something's about to happen. Then it shuts all. And people like me is going to be upset because I have to wait until it comes out. You feel what I'm saying? So this is what this is what a lot of a lot of uh, game, you know, back in the day, like in the PlayStation era. This is what they used to do. They'll give you a demo that's totally different from the real game. Like, it's still the same mechanics. It still have the same story. But they switched it up where it's a playable demo that's giving you uh that's giving you a little bit of the main game, but not too much. You know, it's it's just for demo purposes only. And it just ends there. You know, you already you already got your player a hook without giving away too much of your game. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like if I play a if I play a demo and it's two hours, but I like it, right? When the real game come out, I'm either hoping it's transferable, like my save data is transferable, or I got to do everything all over again. And I may not want to do everything all over again because, you know, I already played it. But what if you put extra stuff in the main game and not in the demo? You feel what I'm saying? Like, it all depends on what you do with the project. You know what I mean? Like... Like, if I played this game once, but I can't transfer my save data because it's not transferable. Thank God RPG Maker is. But a lot of people don't know they can do that. Like, they could use their save, their demo save, and just patch it over to the to the original game. Sometimes that don't even work because there could be changes in the in the in the plugins and stuff that may not be compatible. Then you got a hot mess. You feel what I'm saying? So we also gotta we got we gotta be aware of how long our demos are, unless it's episodic and you attended, you know, your demos to be that long. But I think the problem is we want to we want to drive a point in our games to get the player like yo this is what i got you know i'm going to give you 2 hours worth of my demo to try to captivate you you feel what i'm saying like i really think you could do all that 30 40 minutes you feel what i'm saying forget my reading forget my reading forget my dialogue of me playing reading i'm pretty sure it would have took me like 30 minutes you know what I'm saying? 30 to 40 minutes to complete this. And the developer already, you know, reached this point. But I really think this developer did good on the length of the demo. I think we're just used to them long demos. You know what I'm saying? These long plays. These long, you know. I think we get used to that. And we got to drive it to the point. Like, like, uh. My current demo is about an hour, but it was originally made for a game jam. I'm not sure how long my second demo will be, but I probably won't be too much longer. And sometimes, Chromaji, your game, um, Overseers, correct? Overseers was not a long demo. It was not a long demo at all. But at the same time, you captivated me. I really like that game. I like the animations. I like the the combat style. I like how you got like uh one character didn't have a gender role. You know, there was pretty much like I remember that game. Um uh, 
That's all you need. I wouldn't I wouldn't even release a second demo. If they're not captivated on your first demo, then I don't know what else you can do. Like I really do want to play that game. Like the, like your maps look beautiful. The combat was nice. You feel what I'm saying? I I really I really think that demo right there could sell. I don't think you need to put anything more. Everything else should be just be just be uh release in one package. Like that's good until you release the game. Unless unless you don't really like that one. You think you should add a little bit more and you go on with a longer demo. A longer part. You know, I, I I really think I really think it all depends on what you guys want to present in your games. You know, like this developer didn't really present. They presented a lot, but they didn't have to go too far in the game where it is. It, it goes on for hours and hours. Oh, well, I'm in the process of making custom sprites, so I want to make a second demo with them. Okay, I can understand that. There's nothing wrong with that. How much will I pay for this? Uh, it's a lot of default stuff, right? Only thing that's really new is the icons and the sprites. Not sure how hard it would be to create those. It shouldn't be too hard, but they did it, and I have, and it has good uh, mechanics. So, uh, for what it is, hmm, probably four ninety nine. I will pay for this four ninety nine because it it, it it has some issues, but if they would have perfected it. I think $4.99 would have been good. $4.99. I will put this on the Nintendo Switch. And um mobile. Mobile devices. I'll put this on Nintendo Switch and mobile devices like the Android and iPhone. That's what I would do. How much would you, man? How much would you pay? You want the TV on? How much would you pay for this nerd mansion? Since you want to put me out. Since you want to put me out there. <laughs> Oh. Ain't gonna me when all. Oh. Negative three, really? Y'all guys are tough. Y'all guys are tough money. I really think it was good. Four ninety nine ain't bad. I seen a lot of games that were worse, worse, and so and so uh more than that. 
You feel what I'm saying? Now I'm only playing. I only caught the end. Haha, uh -huh, I'm on the spot now. For the full game, I'll probably pay like a dollar. A dollar? Wow. Wow. <sighs> All right. I got to make something. I got to make something clear. Right? A lot of you, I don't know how much of the demo you caught. Yeah, girl. All right. I don't know how much of the demo you guys caught. Girl. Huh? Sit on the couch. Huh? Goodness, girl. Go on my TV. The Umi Zoomi Zone. But yeah, um, a dollar per hour of enjoyment is my standard. Stay awake games. I'm on a spot now. Okay, I already read that. Like, the developer, I really think this this is gonna be a good game. You know, the story the story, I mean it's it's just it's nothing really special. You know, but Average, on average, you know, for what we are getting, I mean, four ninety nine isn't bad. Like, right thing. Prime example, I think you should be charging more for your game. I, I really think you should be charging more. But, you know, you charge with your, with your heart. And to be honest, I would have paid a whole lot more than what you asking. Like, easily. Like... Like you had captivate, you, you know, you, you had my attention since day one. You know what I'm saying? Since I played it in gold and uh, Neo Soul Gamer, your games definitely is worth up there too. You know, but I'm not sure how y'all gonna release your projects. Like we got right thing going with the chapters. Like he he's doing the chapter chapter one, part one, part two, part three, part four. I really think that's a great idea. You know, I really think that's a great idea. Like, like how how he's going about that way. But the demo, your demo is it's a good link too. You know, you got to the to the rise of climax. You know, with with your characters uh, after you uh, beat the uh, the ogres in the tower, and when you go back. You know, you ended the demo right there. I really think that's that's a decent amount of time ending the demo. But it's true, this developer didn't really give us a lot, like a lot of time with the demo. But I, me personally, I saw what they're capable of. I mean, the, the combat system definitely needs some work. Um, the story is pretty good. You know, we got we got two rising climaxes. You know, we gotta save the mother. Then we gotta save. Um, we gotta find this person that destroyed the clan. You know, her kin. So we're dealing with two problems. You know, all that was explained. All that was explained in the demo. And plus, we had some little. Mapping stuff. I mean, the map ain't the best, but I guess with the style of the game and the and how the sprites look, I guess it works. I guess it goes together. You know, that's why it belongs on Android and um, 
um, the Nintendo Switch and stuff like that. Maybe four four ninety nine for the Switch, but on Android, you know, it's cheaper. One ninety nine, two dollars, a sweet tea from McDonald's. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's the animation that gets me. I think the dev has some good stuff going on, but all the animals look the same. The character needs to animate better. I'd be willing to go up in price though. And you gotta think about it. You got you got uh three dolls that look like Lassie. I mean, they they may look alike, you know. I mean, you probably don't could go so far about having animals looking different than like people. You know, people is different, but animals a lot of animals do look alike. They just got probably different markings, uh different size and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know. But for what it is, four ninety nine for the Nintendo Switch because that's pretty much what the Switch games are going for. Um uh, and one ninety nine or ninety nine cents on the um uh, on Android or iPhone. Like to think of them as episodes, you know, like Star Wars one, two, three. Okay, I like that. I like that. Eight ninety nine on Steam. Okay, okay. I like those numbers. Thirty percent. Let's go. I like that. And I would definitely like to see that game on Steam. Steam, yes. So achievements. Cough, cough. We need achievements. We need trophies. That's why you guys, you got to create your games with these achievements. You feel what I'm saying? We need them. You know how much, you know how much, uh, I know Joel, Game Joel has in-game achievements. Like, you can earn trophies. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got to. Like me personally, I love games with trophies. Like, I love playing games with trophies. My homeboy, he don't he don't like uh run some AL. Oh shoot. You know what? We gonna do that now. We gonna do that now. Yeah, I'm gonna run some Animaron Legacy. Don't be uh don't be uh commanding me what to do. You know what I'm saying? Lucia is in the house. All right then. So I will definitely get back on in like ten minutes. I don't wanna, you know disrespect the developer by playing another game on his channel i mean on his you know on his review and stuff like that so definitely definitely nah you're good you're good um i do definitely want to play some more amaron i really think it is important i got a whole bunch of other games i need to play too but uh yeah Animals are bearing by all the art studios 2021. I really think you did a great job. You know, I really like it. Just need some tweaking, some work, and stuff like that. So, uh, great job. Great job overall. You know, uh, just look at the comments, see what the developers and the other folks think about your game. Not bad. Not bad at all. So um get back with us. Keep us updated. Until then, I see you guys later in like five minutes. No, not even five minutes. One minute. You'll see when I go live. 